so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, 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 it's me, Blippi. I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah, it must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks. <laughs> Weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah, hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Woohoohoo! Check it out! Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. <laughs> Okay, let me put my hood on. Wow, it's really starting to rain. All right, check it out. An orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Whoa! 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 Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow. Okay, let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one, Whoa, it's so big. Whoa, whoa, check it out. Whoa, whoa. What color is this umbrella? Yeah, blue and white. Whoa, wee. Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. Okay, and for this umbrella, whoa. Check it out! Yeah, another big umbrella. And the colors of this umbrella are... Whoa! It is so stormy out! Yeah! It is white and green. Woohoo! Let's go! The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain and you won't even get wet! <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, check it out! Look back here! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain and then all this rain collected from the top do you see how much it says wow yeah it says about two inches yeah that's just over five centimeters of rain wow that's a lot of rain okay i'm gonna pour it back yep onto our planet earth because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, check it out! Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh! 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 Oh, a rainbow! Oh! A double rainbow! Oh! Oh, it's full on! Oh, 
even a triple rainbow! Does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas, goes up in the air, and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa, look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a piggy! Oink, 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 Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a T-Rex! <laughs> wow! And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa! Yeah, it's raining! <laughs> Whoa! And then they create puddles and streams and ponds, and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast, sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain, it looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, Stormy, hot, muggy days A lightning bolt That thundering sound There's a storm coming any moment now Tornadoes, hurricanes and floods Sometimes weather can be dangerous Weather, weather, all kinds of weather Like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days Stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet, and everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped, and the sun's shining again. Blizzard, cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job.
job. All right, see you later. Bye bye.
It's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is going to be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah. Do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> That's a lot of feathers! <laughs> Whoa! And the feathers are so colorful! And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock! is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple, and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit, and I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, the apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah. The feathers were so big. And then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect. Right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, well, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So, 
Let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, all right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and what? Perfect. Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect, there we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. All right. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? nice and organized be sure to clean up all right now let me tie this okay so we use the same amount of volume one quarter cup of rice one quarter cup of water okay, now we get to do the fun part we get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense which one is heavier ready The blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa, woo, woo, woo. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah, construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa, huh. this excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy. Let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer some rough terrain they can move all kinds of things bulldozer clearing the land bulldozer pushing rubble and sand bulldozer constructing the roads move over it's about to roll bulldozer 
bulldozer. You better move over. Here comes the bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. You better move over. Here comes the bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. Put in the blocks, here we go. Go to the other side, dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm, let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa, it for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. It's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay. So let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right. Let's put them on their side, and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect. So now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were 
actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. Whoa, that was awesome. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right, and away we go. Whoa, I cannot believe it! The half full water bottle wins the velocity race! Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild! <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah! Hey! Can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah. Airplanes! Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. learning about velocity with you. 
and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great Blippi Velocity Race. <laughs> but there's only one champion, and today, that was water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>I just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you gonna show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take Ooh. it out for you. And what am I gonna do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try Take it. Out. I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go, come on. Ooh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Ooh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is going to feel like. Looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, 
I found the queen! Wow, there's so many honeybees in here! Hey, don't be scared of honeybees! All they're trying to do is make some honey! Yeah! Have you ever had honey before? <laughs> yeah, it's so tasty! <gasps> Look at what it is! This is the spot where you can do the bee dance! Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. Then you go this way. Flap your wings. Yep, because we want to make some honey. In the middle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go this way. Flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. <gasps> oh, look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. That's why they're called grass hoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Whoa, look at this room. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa. Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow, they're like rats. But they have no fur, or, or hair, or scales, or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh, and an axolotl. Check this out. Whoa, see that? That's an axolotl. Whoa, so interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Woo! <laughs> Check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know, but this is a turtle. Wow. Hey, how are you, turtle? Are you having a good day? Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> You sure do look like you're having fun. <laughs> See you later. Whoa. It's kind of dark in here, but that's okay. This is a green iguana. Can you see it? Whoa. It's just relaxing. Having a good time. <laughs> All right. See you, iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> Hey! See? It kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool! 
Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a Triceratops. Do you know why they call it a Triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Whoa. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. See, these plants, that means it eats plants. And plants only, it doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a massive footprint. Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine. It's even way bigger than two of my feet. <laughs> Whoa, another dino. Check it out. This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa. This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa. I'm gonna act like this dinosaur, okay? Will you do the same? Ready? I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right. Come on, come here. Gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few quick things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Whoa, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm going to do the same, but it's going to grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, watch, I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. It's a 
such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. Pretty fun! Whoa! Look at this area! You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube! <laughs> Alright, let's see what else there is! Whoa! Look at this! Alright, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah! See? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, look. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Whee. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Okay, look in there, let's go. Ooh. Welcome, come on in. Hey look, it's a little tree house. Here I go. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts and rights. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! 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 Is <laughs> oh, so much fun? Oh! The noise room. Come on! Whoa! This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm gonna do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. <laughs> Woo! Look, some shiny bowls. right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see? Right over here. All right. Tumbo! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Hey, 
here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Okay. Hey, here's some more blue bricks. <gasps> Look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Look at all these! What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow! Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. Do you like numbers? Yeah, I do too. What about big numbers? Yeah. Check this out. This is a big number. 76,383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa, it just went up by one. See, it's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at, because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey. I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. We're almost done. Look. Yeah. This is our moon. We live on planet Earth. And we have one moon. And we call it moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system. And this is Saturn. <gasps> Ooh. And the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa, it is really big. <gasps> look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity. And they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Look! I just made all those things light up! Whoa! This is fun! Whoa, it's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa, hey mom. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> just kidding, it was just a mirror. Come over here, I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, this is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles! Ooh, and you know what else I love? Is taking a giant lever 
and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to to lift up this weight compared to pull down right here. See, watch. Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. All right, now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Whoa. Hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello. This is interesting. See, I'm upside down. But in real life, I'm right side up. Hello. Hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. This place is so cool. Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there! All right. Ready? Whoa! Yeah, that was awesome! I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you <laughs> takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Woohoo! That was awesome! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout. Flippy!